Hello! Today in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at DWAS's order entry. We'll walk through it step by step, hopefully leaving you with a good understanding of how it all works. So let's jump right in. Um, from the order entry screen, you'll want to go up to the ribbon menu and click on the order entry button to open up the order entry manager. Um, now as you can see on the ribbon bar we have several features up here, um, but for our purposes today we'll go ahead and just start with the new order. We'll probably cover that in a later tutorial. Um, so new order, alright. And this information right here is what you're going to want to fill out um, to create this new order. So let's take a look at that. And we have an order date, estimated ship date, and required date. The order date by default is the day on which you, you go to create the order. So that's today. Today I'm creating the order is June 13th, 2013. So we'll leave that right where it is. Um, the required date and estimated ship date, we could change those. Those are just fine um, as well. So we'll go ahead and leave that there. So let's take a look at the customer. Um, right now it's set to Drake Enterprise, that's our customer, um, but if you click this drop down you look in here, we have several customers that we've previously created in our customer manager, um, which we'll cover in a later, later tutorial, but um, we'll go ahead and we'll stick with Drake Enterprise today. Alright, you're going to want to go ahead and create a customer work order, and for our purposes today, one, two, three, four, five will do, and you're going to want a PO number, so one, two, three, four, that'll do there. And next is a priority. Um, right now it's set to normal. Um, you could change it though, expedite, first, rush, weekend, expedite. If you change it to any of those, uh, expedite, uh, rush, or anything like that other than normal. Let's see if we could show you here. Yep, right there. Um, it, we change the color of it. You see normals, just this normal black color. We change it to red there just to kind of jump out at you, catch your attention, and say, hey, this needs to be rushed. So we'll leave it at normal. Um, let's see what else we got. Next thing is the documents. Yeah, you can add documents here. Um, I like to add a part, uh, image of the part that I'm gonna be working on right there. Um, we'll go ahead and add that to it just so that they know, uh, can clarify, yes, this is the part that I'm supposed to be working on. So nice little visual representation there. We could delete it if we wanted to, or we could change the name of that. It says gear two. If you click this button right there, we could change it to gear number one if we wanted to, whatever you want to change the name to. So let's go ahead and select the part. If you click this drop down right here, these are parts that we have previously co created in the part manager for this specific customer right here, Drake Enterprise. Uh, if we change this customer, all these parts would change depending on the customer that I chose. Um, or you could click on this button right here and that will actually bring you to the parts manager where you can create a totally new part right there if you wanted to. Um, but we'll cover that in a later tutorial. Right now we will go ahead and we'll stick with that guy right there. Um, next you're gonna wanna select a quantity. We'll say we have 35 of those gears that we needed, uh, need to have uh, worked on. Um, we have a default price of $12. I previously created that as well in the parts manager, but you could change that right now if you wanted to. Our units are set to each, so we're $12 each. And as you can see, 35 parts, $12 each, we had a total of $420. Um, down here we have a little disclaimer that just says, hey, I have reviewed the purchase order for compliance of so the following. We have a couple of bullet points down there that you want to read, or read over. Um, and then so we're going to go ahead and accept that because we've already read over that. Um, so let's go ahead and click apply. As you see, we've got our new work order right there, 67928, and that's pretty much it. We click OK, and there's our new work order right there in the order summary screen. As you can see, uh, its status now is a pending order review. Um, and there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. I hope that this helped you out, uh, gave you a little bit better understanding of how uh, DWAS's order entry worked. Uh, and as always, please contact us with any questions, comments, or additional help that is needed. Um, there's a contact link, contact us link at the bottom of every page on our website, which will direct you to ways you can get a hold of us. So um, thanks for your time and hope you have a great rest of the day.